Hello, welcome to another video. I'm Brittany and today we are at Disney's Food and Wine Festival. In Italy, if you know, you know. Drank out, if that's the right, that's not right. It is so, so good. Now, if you want to see me try this, you're going to have to wait. I thought that we would do something a little different today. A lot of the new booths aren't open until mid-August or even mid-September. We will try to be back to try more food if you guys want us to. Today, I thought that we would do a progressive five-course meal using the food and wine booths. So can we create more of an upscale feeling meal using the food that we find here at the Food and Wine Festival? Of course, we will be pairing cocktails with it. It is us after all. I'm glad to have you here. Let's head in, I am starving. Oh my gosh, it's hot. We've been out here maybe 10 minutes or so and I'm already like sweating. So I apologize, I'm gonna be a sweaty mess this entire video. It just is what it is here in Florida in July. So this is the Cape Cotter. Now, this is all pre-made. So for $12, that's okay. But considering it comes in like a pre-made bottle, probably would skip it next time, even if it tastes amazing. It does not taste amazing. It's only okay. All right, let's go with the safer option here for our apps. Now for apps, you could do the crab cake here or you could do the Oysters Rockefeller. Also, if I didn't mention it, we're at Coastal Eats over by like Test Track. You might be able to hear it in the background. So let's give this crab cake a try. There's been a lot of talk this year that portions have went down, prices have went up. There's been some discontent among the regulars that are loyalists to this festival. That's a solid crab cake. Lots of crab, a little bit of filling, good seasoning. I think it's solid, the Oysters Rockefeller. Thank goodness they're cooked. I would be afraid to try raw oysters in this Florida heat. I mean, they would go bad so quickly. Just as a precursor, I like oysters, but if you don't, this is a great festival to try them. They're only $7.50 for three. That's like a crazy good deal. That's a big bite. It's almost too big. They really try to cover up the oyster, and just in case you don't like oysters, you can't even taste the oyster. It tastes like butter and the spinach and the breadcrumbs that are on top. Great way to have your kids try oysters if they're brave enough, but that is like, that's a big bite. So just be kind of aware. I don't know if mine were like bigger than normal, but these are big oysters. Kind of a crazy good deal for an app. We're gonna finish up course number one and then we are going to head off and get our salad course. After Coastal Eats, it's time for the salad course. Now, we took a brief recess just to cool down at the store where we found pretty well the perfect shirt for this video. I didn't get it though. I am not a spirit jersey girl. Let me know in the comments, like, do you have spirit jerseys? Do you wear them? I just feel like they fit funny and you can only wear them a few months out of the year. I wish Disney had more short-sleeved, lightweight options. Who's with me? Salad course today is at Brew Wing. It's in the Odyssey, so it's great to eat in the air conditioning. We got the Brussels sprouts. That's as close to a salad as I could get on this side of the lake. We are actually only going half the lake today. If you want me to do another progressive dinner on the other side of the lake using food and wine boosts, let me know, I'd be happy to. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. I'm trying to grow this channel. I would really, really love to have you here. 
Okay, let's start with the Brussels sprouts. I paired them with a cider flight. They all look delightful. And of course, here you can find the new menu item because Disney is trying to kill us this year. The famous pickle shake. Now, if you want to see me try this, you're going to have to wait because I am going to do it in a short and post it on my channel as that. Let us dive into these Brussels sprouts. So they look really good. I don't know if you categorize these as vegan. They're technically plant-based. So I think that means like vegan, they have vegan blue cheese. I don't like normal blue cheese, but this is plant-based blue, blue cheese. So you gotta wonder what that's made out of. Oh, these are good. Okay, I gotta try the the fake blue cheese on its own. Fake blue cheese just tastes salty. It doesn't really taste like anything. All right, I paired the Brussels sprouts with the cider flight. They all sound so good. They have the tropical colada, the peach berry hard cider, and the raspberry lemonade hard cider all sound amazing. So all the ciders are good. The tropical colada has the most flavor, but I'm getting the shout out to the Three Daughters Brewing Raspberry Lemonade Cider because it's local and that's always the way I'm going to go. Can't go wrong though. They're all super, super tasty. To pair with the Brussels sprouts, I actually think the peach berry one kind of complements it the most. Course number three, our main course, is what we are going to have to work the hardest for. We're going to do a little surf and turf from Kenya, but the drink that I want is over in Italy, so let's hightail it over there with our food for an Italian margarita. All right, main course. We're going to talk about it pretty quick because the mime is starting in Italy. If you know, you know. Main course, a little surf and turf action. From Kenya, we have the beef and then we have the shrimp. They both look amazing. Got stopped several times on the way to Italy to pick up the Italian margarita to see what we had. Everybody passes up Kenya. The descriptions are never particularly appetizing, but I tend to find the food to be phenomenal. Let's see if it is this year. For the money, you really are getting a great deal, I think. Beef is phenomenal, layered with tons of flavor. The mash underneath is so, so good. Really recommend. This is definitely worthy of a main course. Hmm. Now you pair that with some shrimp and you really got a meal going on. Now this is on sugar cane. It does make it a little messy to eat, so be aware. Comes with a little bit of couscous, which I personally love. Let's see if we can get a shrimp off of here without making a complete disastrous mess. Shrimp are a little dry. Flavor's good, but not near as good as the beef. The beef is almost a must get in my book. Mm. Now on such a hot day, the Italian margarita really hits. It's worth the walk over here for how refreshing it is. That's the only thing we should ever get at the Italy Pavilion. All the food there is usually terribly overpriced and usually not particularly good, but I definitely recommend the Italian margarita. Mm. We are going to finish off the main course and then we have two dessert courses coming up. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're more than halfway done, but we are dying from the heat. I mean, it's midday and it is hot. So we are going to take a little bit of a break after main course and go see the American Adventure. Now it's a 30 minute show. It's okay, but it's even better at escaping from the heat. And that's exactly what we need right now.
We've recovered a little bit just in time for our first dessert course. Course number four is just gonna be a cheese course or a charcuterie. Over in Europe, a lot of times charcuteries actually come after the main meal, even though here in the States, we seem to order them as an app. Just an interesting little tidbit for you. So we stopped in the Spain booth and got the charcuterie cup. This is an oldie but a goodie, really solid snacking cup. This year everyone's talking about the sangria. The portions are really good this year for $6.50. I also recommend the sangria flight. I think that that's such a good deal. I didn't get it because I'm the only one drinking today and I'm about drank out if that's the right that's not right but there you go so let's try this charcuterie cup unfortunately you just don't know what you're kind of like eating here but i got a nice piece of cheese this is kind of a you don't know what you're gonna get i've heard some people talk about how they don't get a whole lot of cheese in there so it's just they're gonna scoop it from probably a large bowl so it's a toss-up what you're going to get with this nice size portion all dressed in a little bit of olive oil. Kind of a nice balance leading into dessert. Now, let's try, I got the rose sangria. I don't know if it's worth the hype. For 6.50, it's still a good deal, but it does pair really nicely with this. So as a course, I think this is great. If you're walking around and you want something to drink, I think I would opt for not the rosé sangria, I'd go back and get another Italian margarita from Italy. Man, that was good, still thinking about it. Okay, we're going to finish this cup and then it's off to the best course dessert. Course five, we finally made it. I think it was worth the wait. We stopped back as we're walking out of the World Showcase at the Alps booth and we got the chocolate fondue. Now, some people say that this is like too heavy for such a hot day, but I feel like chocolate is appropriate at any time, especially when paired with the frozen rosé. Now, this might be the same rosé as the other booth. It probably isn't, but I do like this better in frozen form, whether it's the same sangria or not. I'm gonna say it's probably not. This is probably just rose wine frozen, but it's a lot better than that sangria that I just had. Really, really good. I think it's gonna pair really, really well with the chocolate fondue. Fondue looks really rich, really beautiful. It comes with strawberries, a gooseberry, and some little vanilla pound cakes. Oh, and meringue, which I and Brad will not eat because we do not like it. Tell me if you are a meringue fan. We sure are not. Chocolate is good. Mm -hmm. Fudgy, rich, good flavor. It's good. The fruit is hit or miss. Some of the strawberries are beautiful. Some of the strawberries have seen better days. Let's try the cake. The cake's really good on its own with chocolate. Really, really good. It's really light. I didn't expect that. What a beautiful way to end this five course progressive meal at Food and Wine. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do it again on the other side of the lake. I'd be happy to. I'll see you in another video shortly. Until next time, bye.